Hi everybody, Deborah Dickinson here. Thanks for being on my channel. Yesterday you got to meet Joan in her interview. Today you get to see a tour of her 2019 13-foot scamp pulled by with my Ford Ranger uh, 4x4. Woohoo! Let's get started. So thank you, Joan, for having us in your house today. Thank you. And uh, tell us again, what are, what is your trailer? I have a 2019 13-foot scamp. Awesomeness. And you're going to tell us about the inside, but I also want them to have you know that you have a dual tank propane, right? Yes. And you have a generator. I do. It has a funny story. It does. <laughs> Aren't you worried about somebody stealing your generator? That's so funny because yes, I was. And so just for my own self, I put this ratchet strap on here and I thought to myself, oh, so now if they come by, they'll clip that and go to take it off and go. And I, no, they're gonna dislocate their shoulder. It's bolted onto this, this platform that I had made for it. That is awesomeness. <laughs> So while that is a funny story, you have a not so funny story about your bike rack. Yes, it's very shame for, for me, uh, sad. I had uh, an electric bike. I was in the middle of town in Tucson. I was sleeping in my scamp. I was there and they some thieves came by and cut two cables and off they took it. Less than three seconds. And when I called the uh, sheriff's department that morning, um, they had uh, 10 reported bikes. So they just came, it was a two and a half mile radius, and they just came in and took whatever they could find. I'm so sorry. Me too. <laughs> I love your little scamp, and it's only 13 feet. A lot of people can't believe that you live in 13 feet, but uh, a lot of people live in smaller cars and vehicles than that. That's right. So tell us what we are looking at. Okay. So I, because I ordered it brand new, I got to do whatever I wanted with it. So I took some things out and added a few things. The biggest thing that for me was I did not put in the sink that goes here. I knew that I wanted a microwave. I use it every day. I use it often, more than once every day. Um, and so I, that was uh, perfect for me. And if I'm camping with my family, we put a wash station up outside to do dishes anyway, so it doesn't matter best purchase of all was to get the furnace. There I, you go. I'm older, I'm approaching 70, and uh, I can remember my mother saying, I'm an old lady, and if I want heat, I'm going to have heat. And I feel <laughs> the same way. I yeah. love it. Now, I want you to tell people what you took to the solar company when you <laughs> had your solar installed and what you told them. I had my solar put in in Quartzsite in uh, Arizona, and I took my microwave and my toaster, I plopped it down and said, I want to run these, so you tell me what I need. And they did. They designed all my solar that I have. I have 260 watts and a 200 amp uh, lithium battery that's underneath the ta a chair over there. And it, I just don't have any problems. In fact, I have the generator for backup, but I think uh, for that 18 months that I've been out, I think I've used it less than five. That's too funny. Yeah, it's plenty for me. All right, so your microwave and furnace are a huge part of your lifestyle. What yep. else? It, it did come, the original basic scamp, 13 foot scamp, also comes with a three-way uh, refrigerator, but I knew I was going to be traveling full-time in here, and I needed a place for my pots and pans and things for cooking and maybe even some a little bit of pantry space. So I did not have the fridge put in, and I have a an I. Ice, ice co uh, 12 volt fridge and you and like that I love it yeah, I awesome. wish I had a little bit of freezer space but I made do without that and um, anything else oh I did add a TV package because I do like to watch my movies and my friend Men Emma got me the uh, HDMI cord for it she showed me how to now I can watch my Hulu TV up on the big screen. It's really nice. Lovely. And yeah. you're getting ready to travel with Emma again. I am. So that's, that's awesomeness too. 
Now, you made the curtains. We said that on your interview yesterday, but in case somebody hasn't seen the interview yet, you made the curtains. You made that banner that says spring. Yes. You paint rocks. You do a whole lot of stuff like that. And what what are the what else have you done in here? Well, on that that viewers can see in the camera right now. Yes. Uh, well, the one thing that kind of goes with it, but it doesn't mean I did anything. This, I really use my table a lot, and so I chose not to uh, use it as my bed because I I like last night I painted till midnight, and so I do use this table I really want it up all the time and you're sitting on my bed and you, you guys will see that in a little bit but um, a little bit of storage up here the electronic stuff over here is spices for cooking but you did some modifications to the table uh, I ha actually it broke and I had to make a new table so I went to Home Depot and they cut cut the size for it and then I used my handsaw and cut these off and put it back up and you, I see your some of your art supplies underneath your table, there back will, against the wall. There is some under there, yes, and my little box that holds all my office supplies because I have to do bills when I'm out here on. This is my home. I'm not camping, so I have an office box under there and and a little gadget box. So cool. Yeah. Now, if you wanted to, like if any of your grandkids wanted to go camping with Grandma, yes, they can. You can make that into a bed. I sure can. Okay, lovely. Anything else? You I uh, see that you have a fan up there. The Max fan, and I love it. I It has a remote control over here that I can take down, and, and if I wanted to, I could take it to the bed with me, and once I get it cools down or I start to fall asleep, I can boop, it, turn it off. That is lovely. And you've got three windows back there on either side and in the back, and they all open up for ventilation. They do. That That's, that's lovely. Well, I just love it, and you have just turned it into a cutest little home. Thank you. So let's show them the other side. You ready? Yes. Okay, Joan. Well, this is just lovely. Tell us what we're looking at now. Okay, well, the biggest thing is my bed. <laughs> this is where I sleep every night. And it but, looks so comfy. And it is, and it also uh, is more seating. And so when I have friends over or family, they can sit here too and watch the television with me. Or, so or, that's great. or a god dog. Or, yes, or a little puppy dog. <laughs> little puppy dog, yes. Uh, so more, more that you're seeing is my family, of course, is with me. And, um, oh, you didn't, back in the corners when me and my husband. Um, my sister just picked up uh, watercoloring about three years ago and she made this daffodil and a pear picture and it was nice and small and so it fit into my little scamp and I couldn't have brought those great big things that I have and and it just makes my home my home and I love that like you said before I, I did make all the curtains in here and so uh, this curtain uh, because of the sh egg shape that you hear about uh, fiberglass uh, rigs it this curtain would be hanging out here and I could see light through it it was so I painted a little dowel here just to hold it back it just it's perfect uh, I have a two burner stove for uh, cooking when I need it and, and is it propane only it is propane I do have a little bit of extra uh, uh, pantry over here up here this whole length is pretty much clothing uh, uh, linens over at that end over on this end with some bills a little bit of bill stuff but and then I have more storage I guess it actually does have a lot of storage and sometimes I don't think of that um, in the center there's a cabinet here and I have a couple of baskets of things filled in it and both of them have a very small storage on both ends like a boat has and just uh, pull up the bed and can enter it from the top and I've got to ask, what is that dowel rod or that curtain rod up there over your door? <laughs> yeah, people hit it all the time, but I love it. Uh, when I do laundry, I might hang stuff up there. Or if, after I, I bathe inside the scamp, I, I'm not taking a shower in my clam. Um, if it's too cold or I just, you know, I want to do it in the evening late, then I'll bathe in here. And then I can hang up my towel to dry and 
So, yeah, I, I did add that myself. Yeah. <laughs> and now people are going to ask, you do not, you chose to not have the restroom built into the scamp. Yes. Uh, because you treat this like van living. Yes. Even though it's a trailer and you pull it with your truck, you treat this like van living. And, you, and we're going to show them your truck because you use that for a lot of storage as well. And you do your showers like anybody that lives in a van. You either do it like you said in your clam, which, by the way, does have the... Um, panels, panels. It off. <laughs> and you use it as a screen shelter when you're in there painting or whatever yes. but if you want privacy you can close it off I or do. you do like the rest of us and go to public showers or, or laundromats truck stops whatever mm -hmm. and so yes. this is very much like van living for you even mm -hmm. though you have a trailer because you wanted something small and you've yes. just well, it's just a lovely, lovely home. Yep, thank you. And so like many other uh, nomads, I use a bucket system, and I'm very happy with that. I actually had been using it for about 23 years in my tent, and so it was it was an easy uh, transformation into the into the scamp. Yeah, you really just kept easy. on keeping on with what you'd always exactly. done. <laughs> exactly. It was funny because when I ordered it in January, didn't get it until September, um, <clears throat> I was way and way and the whole time that, man, why can't I get it now? I want it right now. And actually those seven months gave me a lot, uh, eight months, to watch lots of videos and learn that I can't believe how many people said, oh yeah, we use our sink to brush our teeth. Or, oh, I use the sink to put stuff in it when I'm traveling. And so it was stuff like that that I learned that through those eight months of, oh yeah, I really don't want that. Or, yeah, I really need the furnace because I don't want my, uh, what what is that heater that well, everybody the, uses? One of the most po popular is a, is a Mr. Buddy portable That's, heater. That, and so yeah. it would be sitting there or sitting here and... I, I'm so glad I don't have that. Yeah. Now, I do. There are people that put their Wave 3s, and that's what I have now, a catalytic heater on a swing arm. Uh -huh. So it's up off the floor, and Bandit's not in danger or anything. But yep. and, and I have friends that have a small tr eggshell trailer like yours, and, and they did that. But you didn't even want... You just... You're like, I want the furnace, baby. I did. <laughs> I wanted the heat now. <laughs> so this is just your perfect little home, and thank you again for having us visit it today and for showing us around and uh, let's tell them a little bit about the truck next, okay. okay? Yes. So remind us what you have that you tow this beautiful home with. Okay, I have a 2011 Ford Ranger 4x4 with plenty of power. I just love it. Um, I did start out in, two, uh, in the fall of 2019 with a Subaru Outback and it, and it really did fine pulling it. But since then, because I am living in it, I've had, I have added a little bit of weight. I can't go anywhere without my crafts and my quilting and painting. And so I um, knew that I needed something a little more powerful over all these mountains that we travel on. And so I used last summer shopping for a truck and got myself a truck and I love it. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. And uh, you use it as an extension of your home. You have the back organized in a way to where you can get to everything. Tell us what you've got in the back. I, I know, for example, you've got stuff right behind the, the camper, the, 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 along the wall. What's yes. right? What's on that wall? I did a, a little mini build out in it. So in the very back the, of the cab, the, or the butts up with the cab, I have a little bit of um, uh, pantry things up there, and then underneath more storage. Uh, I carry my own water, so there's a couple of water bottles un under there also. On the on the left, as you look in on the left side, driver's side. Yes, uh, I have a long shelf, and I specifically made it so that I could slide the clam in there. I I measured the clam for it and some other bars that I would be using that go, like you mentioned my light bar that I made that see clamps onto my table. It is so awesome. And so I have night light and I just love that. So those bars are, those PVC pipes are underneath there. And also under there are my two Dutch ovens because I love to Dutch oven cook and um, 
I love cooking for other people. And so when we get together, I'm right there with my enchiladas and maybe some apple crisps or something. Yeah. And so yeah, under there is those, that type of things. I have to get you and my friend Frugal RV gal together because she does all of that same stuff too. And I have a few things of hers because she, I watched her uh, do some cooking and she used to do uh, Dutch Oven Wednesdays. Yes. And so I watched a lot of her stuff and, and I got her uh, uh, the charcoal uh, pie, uh, stove. Yes. Starter. Yes. Uh, the collapsible one. Oh, yeah, we one. used that yep. the other night. Yep. Yes, the we did. One. And it was because of Janet. Well, there you go. <laughs> I love that. I, I did not know that. I'll be sure that she, I'm, I'm sure she'll see this, yep. but I'll, I'll let her know. She gets all the credit. You get all the credit, <laughs> Frugal. It's all because of you. <laughs> That's so funny. I love it. Now, one of the things that I love most about how you use your truck is what you did to save your knees. Tell people about that because that's just genius. Oh, that's great. Um, I It has that w w wiffle uh, bottom, and it just hurt my knees terribly. I don't know anybody's what I, knees. Yeah, I didn't know what I was going to do. And I, perp when I had the Super Outback, I had just everything in there and had to be pulling everything out to get that one box. So when I did this build-out, mini build-out, I... I wanted to make sure that I could get down the center and access everything along that. Where in the Subaru, I had to put everything in and then take out four boxes to get to one box there. And so <laughs> that gets old real fast, doesn't it? Yes, yes. <laughs> so uh, when I was uh, preparing for it, it has this terrible wiffle stuff on the bottom of the bed of the truck, and it was killing my knees. So I took some good plywood, and at Home Depot, they have these two by two foot. A puzzle styrofoam that you can click together and I took a package of those cut it down spray glued it put them on there and I can just curl back in there it's so nice the very last piece sits on the gate and that can come then I can lift it up and just stick it in but I've used it a bunch of times outside kneeling down to do something underneath my car or underneath the rig so it's come in handy yeah it's really nice oh I even brought it over to Tim when you had uh, <laughs> when you had that little escapade with your bearing, yeah, your... I be when I buried Phoenix uh, up to the bumper, oh my gosh, yes, that was that was that was catastrophic. It, it turned out okay, but that, yeah, <laughs> that that's that's a different video. Yes. <laughs> but yes, thank you for you took such good care of us that day while we got her <laughs> unburied. But and what that isn't that the same stuff that like even kindergarten and preschool yes, teachers exactly. use for their mats and stuff, and, yes, or and some even people put it together for yoga, yoga, mats, yoga mats or something and yep. and you cut it to make yourself a little uh, instead of a walkway a knee way anyway, exactly <laughs> well that's just brilliant and then on the right side uh all my other things are in there. There's a box that I call my garage box. So there's extra oil, there's tools, there's um, uh, gloves because you don't know what you're gonna get to out here. So I have a box of gloves and there's all kinds of th things over there. I have a handsaw, I have a little rake. Um, so it's just more storage over there. So you'll probably see that. And then um, I traveled for two months with the truck, and it would get so warm. Yeah, back I want you to there. tell people about how, you, not only about <laughs> that, I want you to continue that story, but be sure you tell them how you uh, got that so beautifully into your, the Reflectix into your truck, because it's an amazing job. Yep. So I was in New Mexico and had ordered a huge roll of that, uh, the Reflectix and um, made some patterns and the, it all my inside of my um, the cab the new cab that I, or the uh, shell shell that I had put on before I came out it has carpeting kind of like the rat fur that's in here which is, I use the same way everything behind all my stuff has velcro in the back and so it just comes up it just hooks back up there so all of these pictures are that way also so I just used glue and velcro around the reflectix only and then it just goes right up on the carpet that's already on the shelf yeah and it looks so nice even from the outside it, it made a huge difference in your storage area back there i'm sure yes and keeping everything from uh, not maybe not spoiling but you do have some canned goods and extra I do. pantry stuff back there so that that was just brilliant yeah well between your truck and your camper shell and your clam shell 
and uh, using it for privacy for showers and stuff too and then your scamp you and, and then all your outdoor table mm -hmm. and everything you just really have a wonderful traveling home I do you do. I do and, and I don't know if you've noticed it before but I actually set it up in a u-shape so there'll be the clam the, the, the scamp and then my truck so usually inside that area it's not too windy and then I have my fire pit and it's it's very comfortable. Yeah, like you make like a little patio like, yes, area. Yes. Yeah. Now unfortunately where we've camped, we we, we kind of did that this time, but mm -hmm. we, like where we were camped in Alabama Hills, there wasn't room to spread out like no. that. So you haven't had your little little normal b patio that you're used to, but it yep. still has worked beautifully. Yes. Cuz it's very flexible too. Yep. Well, thank you for sharing your wonderful home with us. And Thanks for having me, Deborah. Obviously, Bandit loves it. <laughs> <laughs> it's his second home. It is his second home. He, he loves just, me. I keep telling him, but you only have one mommy. <laughs> yes. He, lo oh, yeah, he, he, he says, oh, that feels oh, good. Yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yes. Well, if you guys have any questions for Joan, let her know in the comments below, and she will try to answer them. And other than that, what do we always say, Joan? <gasps> Keep on keeping on, and we'll see you down the road. <laughs>